It's the show. Hey everyone and welcome to the show for this week. So basically what's happening is I'm trying something new on YouTube and this bit's recorded on my phone because, you know, technology and stuff like that. Anyway, what's going on is you're going to see a couple of main features interspersed with bits of my life from now on. Uh, that's just what's happening. Enjoy. So this section is one that I think I'm going to be doing pretty frequently, and basically what it is, is it's a preview of a game that I'm really excited for. Um, I'm going to be doing it basically whenever there's no review up. I hope you enjoy it. Imagine this. You're a dragon slaying hero who has finally made your way to the heart of the labyrinthine castle of your greatest foe, the Mecha Dragon. You land the killing blow against its metallic hide and... What's this? A spirit appears. You approach cautiously, but foolish you, because now you're cursed, your human form twisted into a reptilian visage. Whatever will you do? You better think quick, Wonder Boy, because the castle's coming down, and there's yet more dragons that need defeating. Coming April 18th to PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC for the low, low price of $20 is the game that I am literally the most excited about for this entire year's worth of releases. Yes, more excited than Breath of the Wild. Yes, more excited than Cuphead. Yes, more excited than Kingdom Hearts 3, assuming that's actually coming this year. This is an HD remake of Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap, literally my favourite game of all. Time. In its new incarnation, developed by Lizard Cube and published by .emu, Wonder Boy has a charming sense of warmth and personality, mixed with a nostalgia for the Sega Master System era, but with the ability to appeal to those who are much newer to gaming. The update features amazing hand-drawn graphics and an orchestral reworking of the original soundtrack, but if that's not your thing, then there's the option to swap to the 8-bit or classic version at any time with the press of a button, even in the middle of gameplay. Various aspects of the experience seem to have been given a makeover to make this game more diverse and more accessible too. The devs have added the option to play not only as Hugh Man, the actual name of the eponymous Wonder Boy, but also Hugh Girl or Wonder Girl. They've also introduced three difficulty levels to cater to players who want a bigger challenge or who just need things a bit lighter to enjoy themselves, and it looks like they've toned down a lot of the flashing light effects that were all the rage back when the original was released. Without spoiling too much for you, this is really a game that I think you're going to want to watch out for, and speaking from experience, it's one that you can use to safely introduce your preteen kids to single player gaming. I can't wait until I can review this wonderful game for you, and I super can't wait until the inevitable Let's Play series that comes out of it, because that is so totally going to be a thing that I'm doing. This next section is basically an excuse for me to use a puppet that I haven't used before. What's going on here is that Mort is like an eight-year-old primary school kid, and he's done his homework, he's done a report on animals, and he's gone to Twitter to look for help, but Twitter's fed him a bunch of lies. And there's only two things in what he's saying that's actually true, and it's up to you guys to try and figure out what those two correct things are, and leave them in the comments below. Hello, my name is Mort, and I am a mouse, and I got homework that I had to do, and I just wanted to play lots of video games, so I got Twitter to help me with my homework. And um, I had to write a report on animals, and this this is my report on animals. 
Um, I don't think Twitch would like to me about anything, so this is all true. Um, um. Interesting facts about animals. The Chimera myth is actually based on the platypus because they're part duck, part beaver, part fish, and part snake. Um, although they don't have any kind of way of defending themselves from predators. Another completely harmless water creature is the hippo. In fact, there is no recorded instance of a hippo ever harming a human, even a little bit. Axolotls, though, um, axolotls are super dangerous because they're actually baby Komodo dragons. It's just that they never grow up big because their tanks is too small. Some animals can learn to do, like, amazing things. In Russia, most taxis are driven by bears, and in World War II, there was a whole squadron of stealth bombers that was piloted by dogs. They even taught Jaguar engineering once, but all it made was a console that it named after itself, and it wasn't very successful. It's okay though, because adult Jaguars can run so fast that they break the sound barrier. Which is where the saying, like an atomic boom on the Serengeti, comes from. Some animals look heaps cute, but actually they're feeling lots of complicated emotions. Like quokkas, they're super anxious and they're screaming all the time, but it's too high pitched for humans to hear it. And sloths are actually just really unobservant and sometimes they think that their arms and legs is tree branches and they try to grab them and they fall out of the tree. And also tapirs are full of vengeful rage and can hold grudges until they die and will assemble small military units to overthrow their collective enemies, yes. Sometimes people name things after animals, like some places have crossings where people with the walking and people with the bicycling can cross together and that's called a toucan crossing because two can cross at once, that's clever. And submarines are called sea pigs because they leave a curly trail of bubbles because their propellers make them go all wiggly and so torpedoes are called sea piglets. And also, also Singapore is called the Lion City because all of the people who live there are furries. Okay, that is the end of my homework report. I hope that it was good and that I will get an A+. Plus. Um, I will ask Twitter for more homework help because um, they was really friendly. Um, bye!